What's going on man? It's your boy Kjords back with another video of mine. Hope it's doing well on this Tuesday. Much love to all of you. So today's video, we're gonna be breaking down this special team from 2016 to 2017. We're gonna be breaking down the 4231 formation, also known as the 442 off the ball. Um they were so successful this season, I can't even lie to you. They finished in the Champions League final. Um obviously they didn't beat Real Madrid. Real Madrid beat them 4-1 in the end but before that game they only conceded three goals in 12 matches so we're going to be breaking down why they were so effective defensively and I'm also going to show you clips and how we are in terms of off the ball and our shape and stuff like that but honestly guys this team is very good man you got the likes of Buffon and goal coming out of his prime a bit but it was still decent you had Danny Alves playing right back but obviously he's retired now I'm sure he was just not in the game anymore we have Danilo right back Bonucci, Chiellini, Alessandro, Kadira, Pjanic, Dybala Pedrada playing as a right wing Mandzukic kind of like your second striker um, he's not your typical winger and the reason being is because Alessandro is so good offensively and you need him to run down that lane so what Mandzukic just comes narrow and plays really close to Higuain and um, normally when Alessandro puts in a cross Mandzukic is already in the box as well so Mandzukic is like your second striker but the only difference between him being a left winger and him playing in Higuain's role is he comes back and um, helps out his midfield to make a 4-4-2 formation so Mandzukic playing as like your second striker um, and then you have Higuain playing up front now I'm going to be breaking down the instructions the tactics and I'm also going to show you some clips on how we are defensively in our shape. Obviously, as you can see, it's a 4-2-3-1, as you can see it right in front of you. But off the ball, it's a 4-4-2. And I'm going to show you guys how to implement all them things onto the game. But first, let's talk about the instruction. Buffon, come for crosses and balance. Now, this team that season didn't really defend high up the field like their defensive line. Everything was very deep, narrow, compact in that 4-4-2. Lots of Benucci and Chiellini forming a great partnership. You had Kadira and Pjanic. Obviously, these two are very good on the ball. Defensively, they're not the greatest the midfielder. So Allegri decided to have his men defending deep instead of having them pressing and stuff like that. And obviously, defensively, in terms of pressing, Pjanic, that's not really his game. His game is more turn off than passing lanes. Same with Kadira as well. Um, we're going to get onto that a bit later on in this video. But... Buffon come for crosses, sweep a keeper, I don't know, personal preference, but um, I have it on balance. Chiellini, Bonucci, no instructions on them. Alessandro join the attack overlap. Obviously, when Mandzukic comes in, Alessandro will be bombing down that wing and uh, creating the whip for the team, uh, providing crosses to the likes of Mandzukic, Dybala, Higuain as well. So join the attack for Alessandro. Danny Alves also used to come up the field and provide width on that right hand side, linking up with Quadrado. Um, join the attack overlap as well. Um, and sometimes you would see whether it's Danny Alves or Quadrado, Quadrado would get the ball on the edge of the box and cross it, and Manzukic would be the guy to get back stick. Um, I don't know, I think it was against Monaco if you watched that game in 2017 um, in the Champions League semi final. You've seen Dani Alves make a cross on the edge of the box and Mandzukic was running onto that and headed it um, from the back post. So Dani Alves joined the attack and overlap. Now let's move on to Pjanic. He's an RDM and the reason why I got him as an RDM instead of an RCM is because I need him to come back in time and um, offer the team defensive support, offer the likes of Kadira uh, defensive support because Kadira is actually more deeper uh, than Pjanic because as you can see here Pjanic all balanced, no instructions set on him other than cover centre because you want to keep that compactness in the middle of the field. He's your deep line playmaker. Normally when uh, Juventus are building up from the back, whether the ball's with Chiellini or Bellucci, Pjanic would come and help out so he can transition the play from defence to attack. That's what a deep line playmaker does anyway. Helps out the defence and progresses the ball. So, Pjanic. And also, Kadira used to do that as well. Depending on what side it is. So, Pjanic, balanced, other than cover centre. Now, Kadira, 
stay back wide attacking, cover centre. Now, between the two centre mids, Kadira is better defensively than Pjanic, but Pjanic is better offensively. So having Pjanic on balanced, he might push up the field, but Kadira offered that support. So when we do use the ball, he can cover for the likes of Pjanic when he does roam up the field. So stay back wide attacking and cover centre makes sense. Now, my guy Mandzukic played a huge role in this system for Allegri. I've got him on comeback on defence, cut inside, come short is an option as well, or balanced, or get in the box. Because when Dani Alves did make that cross against, um, it was Juventus versus Monaco, and that goal that Mandzukic scored, he actually did get in the box for a cross. So it does make sense to have get in the box for a cross, but. You will see him on the edge of the box asking for the ball with his back towards goal. And normally he would lay off the ball to the likes of Alessandro, Daibala and Higuain and make forward run into the box. So get in the box for a cross or come short. It's really up to you guys and what you want to do there. For me, come back on defence. He'll make that 4-4-2 off the ball. Same with Quadrado as well. Come back on defence. So he's your second striker. Cut inside, he'll be coming more narrow, more closer to Dybala, making room for Alessandro to run up the field and run down that left channel. So uh, that's the instructions I got for Mandzukic. Now Dybala is actually a centre forward, as you can see here. How I done that was I push Higuain further up, ST, to make Diabala play as a centre forward as you can see there. So Diabala is a centre forward. False nine. He's going to be getting in between the lines, helping out the midfield. Um, he's just going to be drifting in between the line, guys. He's your playmaker. Um, he's going to be appearing everywhere. On the left, on the right, and in the box as well. And that's he's a crafty player, I won't even lie to you guys. And under Allegri, that was his best years. So if you want to recreate the old Diabala. Hammers the centre forward and false nine. Um, Higuain stay central and no other instruction on him. Uh, maybe false nine. Maybe you can do that if you want to. Um, help out in the midfield in terms of build up. Um, his hold up play is pretty good as well. So false nine would make sense. Or just balance. It's really up to you. Come back on defence is optional. Um, if you want to make that 4 4 2, come back on defence would make sense. Come back on defence, stay wide, no other instructions sent on him. Now, come back on defence obviously would make sense because off the ball in real life, they created a 4-4-2 off the ball. Both Mandzukic and Quadrado have this instruction sent on them. And um, the only way to replicate that shape of the ball is to have them on come back on defence. Stay wide, the difference between Mandzukic and Quadrado is Quadrado is a natural right mid. Mansukic is an inverted winger because he's coming in on his strong foot. As you can see, he's right footed. Quadrado is already a right footed player. So what he's going to be doing is offering that width and um, providing crosses for the likes of Higuain and Mansukic to get onto. So he's like he's like a typical winger in it. So stay wide and no other instructions sent on him. So that's the instructions for Juventus. Now tactics. Pressure on heavy touch, balanced or drop back. Now drop back is more of your defensive option if you want to use this defensive style in this system that we're using today. Um, balanced or pressure on heavy touch makes sense because in the opposition's half from goal kicks, you will see the wingers, you will see Dybala, you will see Higuain pushing up and um, pressing your opponents in the opposition's half. But once the opposition does break through that press, they come back in their shape. They come back in their narrow and rigid 4-4-2 shape. So you will see Juventus press at times, but in their own half, they drop very deep and um, they condense the pitch. So they force the opponents wider, making it very hard for the opponents to play down the middle. So pressure on heavy touch or balanced for me works but if you want to be more defensive drop back is another option as well so pressure on heavy touch width is on three i've been saying that for the longest they defend very narrow so three depth would make sense or four the depth 
they don't play high they don't play very deep they just play deep if that makes sense so four or five would make sense uh, on this game you've got Chiellini and Benucci so playing high wouldn't make sense due to their pace so four or five up to you guys balanced for the for the offensive style the width on four or five uh, the width is coming from Cadrado and Alexandro so four or five up to you guys um, the players in the box Dybala, Higuain and Mandzukic so four or five and corners and free kicks is personal preference so that is it guys for this video let me know how it goes um, if it don't work I'll try and find another solution they also used a 4-3-3 as well I had a 3-5-2 as well so I can break that down in another video if you want me to make a video on that um, very interesting team defensively solid you ain't getting through it but uh, going forward they have their um, disadvantages so if there's a problem offensively i'll try and sort it out for you guys but this is what i've seen obviously you've got juventus fans out there that might be watching this video that know way more about me so correct me if i'm wrong in the comments but uh yeah man that's it it's your boy george one love take care Gabriel. Partey is.